Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today we're gonna to be working in the kitchen with a new food dehydrator. This is the Nesco brand food dehydrator. So we're right about the season where we start making jerkies, we start drying vegetables, we start drying fruit, and we start making fun things in our dehydrator. So I figured I'd do a review because we've got to dehydrate our shiitake mushrooms. So we picked somewhere in the neighborhood of a five gallon bucket full of shiitake mushrooms that we grew here on the farm. And in order to preserve those mushrooms, we're going to dry them. We're going to dehydrate them. So come along today. We'll show you how to dehydrate mushrooms and we'll give you a quick overview View of the cheapest dehydrator on Amazon. All right? Woo! So let's talk about the machine a little bit before we get started with the shiitakes. This is the power drawing source for this machine. You basically just plug it in. There's no on or off switch. You either turn the dial to whatever setting you want it to be and there's basically a book that comes along with it and it also says fruits and nuts, vegetables, there's all sorts of different things in here, herbs and spices, jerky. It tells you basically a temperature guide right here on the top. Very, very simple machine. This is a fan, there's a little heating element in there. It draws air through these little shelving units. Here's one of the little shelves. So these shelves basically just stack up just like so and you put whatever food you wanna dehydrate right on those shelves. Now, an added feature that didn't used to come with these are these flexible shelves. And these flexible shelves basically just sit inside of the regular shelf and that's for stuff that's too sticky so I used to do a lot of banana dehydrating so if you go to the store sometimes they'll have bananas on sale for dirt dirt cheap so you can cut them up and make your own banana chips this right here eliminates having to break those banana chips off so what I used to do was spray it down with a little bit of olive oil and then put my banana chips on it but now they've eliminated the need for that there's also a little fruit roll-up pad in here so basically you would take fruit and you would put it in the blender or chop it up or puree it pour it in right here and you can make your own fruit roll-ups pretty cool so we'll be using this for jerky and all kinds of stuff it comes with a little manual here recipes instructions all sorts of fun stuff and it also comes with some mixes to make jerky teaches you how to dry stuff it's a great beginner dehydrator. I say beginner dehydrator because for your first dehydrator you don't want to drop a bunch of coin on a dehydrator. You want to spend a little bit of money and enjoy it. This is the one to use. Now we'll show you how we do the shiitake mushrooms. These shiitakes were washed a couple hours ago. I put them in the fridge. You can see the gills are a beautiful white yellowish color and the top is a beautiful brown. Basically you just lightly scrub them and you rinse the gills out. I'll show you one that has not been washed yet. So Here's one that's fresh, but it has not been washed. And basically, you pop out the center right here. This is a woody type stem. You wanna get rid of that, discard that, and then rinse out the inside. Pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful mushroom. Really proud that we grew it on our own farm. Let's take you over here to the cutting board and we'll show you how we cut them up in about one inch pieces to dry in the dehydrator. Now you could put them in whole, just like this, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer for them to dehydrate. We're gonna cut some of them up and we'll probably put some in whole just to see what the difference is. Kitchen experimentation, good stuff. Basically we'll take our shiitake mushroom and we'll just cut them into lengths, just like so. Pretty simple. Guys, this ain't rocket science, but nobody told me, nobody taught me I had to do a lot of research, so hopefully this eliminates research if you decide you want to dry your own mushrooms. Pretty cool. Now we've got the bottom of our dehydrator right here, and these are the little shelves, and basically we're gonna give our mushroom pieces enough room in here that air can circulate around them. We may have to do several batches of these, but we'll load this guy up. Now if the smell starts to smell woody and the house starts to stink, you can always take this out in the garage and do it out in your garage or in your shop or in your shed, however you like to do that, or even on your front porch. Here we go. Just need a little bit of space all around and then we'll stack these up. Keep working our way through them until we get done. This is a fun thing you can do with apples, you can do it with bananas, you can do it with peaches, anything you want to dry or dehydrate. 
Totally, totally awesome. Totally great way to keep these things all winter long. No refrigeration required. All you gotta do is dehydrate, take that moisture out. When you take the moisture away, you take the tendency to rot away. So pretty nifty. I'm gonna get busy here and then I'll show you what temperature we set the food dehydrator on for mushrooms. Now you gotta think while you're putting these on, they're gonna dry and they're gonna shrink, okay? So if they're barely touching each other, it's okay, it's not gonna hurt anything. What you don't wanna do is pile up a bunch of mushrooms on top of here. You want air circulation. Just use common sense. So as I'm cutting these up, some of the real pretty ones that are fairly small, you know, small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, I'm just gonna leave those and we'll give you an update on how all this turns out at the end of the video. Uh, people ask me, what shiitake mushrooms taste like and how to cook them. Now you can cook shiitake mushrooms just by themselves and eat them. They are absolutely delicious. They basically taste like steak almost. They, they have a meaty type flavor to them. People have referred to them as the poor man's steak. I don't know about poor man's steak. This stuff goes for like $11.99 a pound in the store so you can totally grow these on your own just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of time totally totally worth it we eat a lot of uh, mushrooms in our house with sauces and stuff like that and soups you can dehydrate these and they'll be good for years and basically all you have to do is soak them in warm water and they will puff right back up and they'll be good to go and good to cook with now they're not going to be as good as they would be if they were fresh but that's okay, that's something that you can expect. If you wanna preserve these things and have them for a long time, we'll be eating shiitake mushrooms probably for the next six or eight months. We won't have to go buy mushrooms at the store, which is super duper awesome, especially when they cost hmm, somewhere around three or four dollars a container of mushrooms. So get busy here. As soon as these dehydrate, which should take probably overnight, maybe a little bit longer, as soon as they dehydrate, we'll package them up in mason jars and we'll get dehydrating the rest. Before we go guys I want to show you you just basically turn your dial up a little bit past the 135 degree mark you don't want to go over 140 degrees with mushrooms or you can compromise the flavor so 135 to 140 degrees is the perfect temperature to dehumidify or dehydrate your mushrooms folks i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've learned a little bit about shiitake mushrooms a little bit about dehydration there'll be a link down in the video description to this dehydrator i'm not being paid to tell you this i just think it's a wonderful dehydrator and just a great Great start it's inexpensive and there's just an unlimited amount of things that you can make and dry and use this inexpensive food dehydrator with so thanks a lot guys come on back and see me here on the stony ridge farm i got work to do i got some stir fry over here that i'm getting ready to make with one of our pasture raised chickens super cool thanks a lot pound that like button subscribe to the channel let me know what you think and if you have any questions please post them down there in the comments I'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right. And I'm free in the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am, and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge. All right. I told you I'd tell you what they look like, so we'll take the lid off right here. And this is what you got. So the whole tray was completely full, and they all just kind of shrunk up, shriveled up to this little size right here. I took them out of my house because they did have a rather foul mushroomy type smell but they did a great job that's rack number one rack number two so we'll go ahead and we'll load up all the rest of them that we have and basically they're just light as a feather right now pretty cool really cool all you have to do is rehydrate these in warm water